Alright, Derek. Pretty much certainly asked for Can't You See by Marshall Tucker Band, but I had to clear the text to make space on my phone. So here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I've thought the intro to this really recently. And it might have been like we recorded it on your phone, or I just don't see it on my YouTube or something like that. But um, I'm going to give you the solo, because I know for sure we haven't done that. For sure-ish. We've done a lot of lessons, but just to talk about the intro... In case, uh, we've got a dude playing D, and he's going to do pinky on, pinky on stuff, you know. It'll be a good listen it out exercise. Um, then he goes, my middle finger's up here on C, keeps this finger here, and actually throws in this note, like from a D, this F sharp here. It's like, like that kind of thing. Pinky to the first finger, and then it's G. And then it's got this middle finger, no middle finger, middle finger, and then back to D once more. Type stuff. So yeah, D, whatever it is, and then something like that. And then But we'll actually look at the solo note for note. Um, ideally, I probably sent you a picture of it. I don't really think I can confidently flash it in front of the camera and hope that it holds up. But just in case it works, here it is. Just in case this worked. Kind of should. Either way, there it is. So we're in the key of D, like we're saying the chords are like D, C, G, D, which then brings up, but are we in the key of D? Because when we play in D, uh, back whenever we discuss what keys or chords are in a key, we've got a D, E minor, F sharp minor, yeah. anyway, it doesn't have C, so we'd have like that. However, it's just a rock and roll thing where we're used to hearing that. And you could think of the song as being in G, but it's really just not framed that way. It's really like a D song. And then they're just like, what if C was in the progression? And then we're back to stuff that we expect in D. So it just sounds like rock and roll, and that's just one of those changes that works. Being in a song in G, that's going like G, C, G, C, and it's very G, not a C song, but a G song, and then going to F same thing. E song going to D, same thing. So our solo is going to be D major pentatonic, and we're going to start out in the BB King box, which is going to be the same as B minor, so like 7th fret, 10th fret. So we're going to be hanging out a little bit at the 10th fret, playing BB box, and then we're going to end up at the 17th fret, playing on a, the far side of pentatonic 4, and I'll review all that stuff is, but let me go uh, riff for riff with these cats quick. All right, so it goes. So we get there we are. And then I think it's pull off. From original tap. Pull off that air to your first finger. In the first phrase. No pick there. So, there we are. Just like a little bend like that on the end. And he goes. So he goes. He picks it once. And he goes. Which is going to have an element of the bend going back. You just got to do your best to go. You know. There's, there's the sound, just, and at this tempo it'll actually sound okay, but try to duplicate what he's doing, and we get that same, excuse me, and then, uh, yeah, so, sorry, second phrase, yeah, so, so that was, Then we get, then we get, oh that's right, 
and he trails that off. So it gets. There we are. It's, uh... Let me get this. Yeah, it's 2.15. Then we get back to easy stuff. So, there we are. And then we get another one of those. There's so, E kind of easy there. Um, Up the neck to the 17th fret. So let's say we were introducing this concept for the first time and be an A minor C. We'd be up around the 12th fret doing this uh, kind of tonic where we use our middle finger here sometimes, or sometimes go over on the far side of it. And that's where we're going to find ourselves here, not in C major, A minor, but in D major, B minor up here on your electric guitar ideally where this will be more doable and that's where we are you know instead of doing the middle finger approach which is cool for some things we're over on the far side of it we don't actually ever get to that note so that's where we're going to find ourselves is kind of over on the far side of it oh something that would go like skip a string 14 17 14 16, 14, 16, uh, yeah, that's all correct, and then 15, right there is where we get weird, so we're going to have our first finger on that going, 17 stuff, 15 stuff, there you go, so yeah, there we go, Same thing again, basically. Right. Two of those, and then yeah. yeah. So there we are. And there it is. Cool. So if we'd learned this in home base here, it would have been two frets back. That's what we're up to in this song. Let me know if this is not what you wanted, and I will send you other stuff, man. Happy holidays. Cheers. Um, if you're not ready on Tuesday, I understand, but I'm, I'm totally down to do a lesson on Tuesday, and I thought the solo was pretty doable for you, probably, as far as just having a couple few days of practice. All right.